visualization, generating novel facial images. Some of these faces are synthesized and some are photos. Can you tell which is which? In fact, these are the ones that were generated. Let's take a closer look at two of them. Notice that they contain many details such as wrinkles, specular reflections and facial hair. In this paper, we present a system that can generate novel facial images of this kind completely automatically in only two seconds. Our method is based on a non-stationary version of the image kilting algorithm. For training, we take a large number of real faces and align them. We take all of the patches from the top left corner of the faces and store them in a library. Then we consider the overlapping neighboring region and store all the patches from here in a different library. We continue until we have a separate library for each patch position. To synthesize a new face, we place new patches down one by one, which is the first patch randomly. The second patch is also chosen randomly, but now from the subset of patches where the overlapping region agrees closely. Unfortunately, images synthesized in this way do not look correct. If we consider any small region of the image, the detail is correct, but the image is not globally coherent. To solve this problem, we consider a second model with complementary properties. We build a global model of the image pixel covariance, which relies on only a few parameters. Here you see the parameters varying and the resulting face changing. These images do not have realistic looking texture, but at least they are globally coherent. Now we incorporate both the image kilting and this blurry global model. We first generate a random image from the global model. Then we add patches as before, but this time they must agree both with the neighboring patches and also with the blurry global model. Finally, we blend the patches together and rescale the image. Here are some examples of our results. Notice that we can synthesize faces with different genders, ages, poses, lighting, haircuts, and even facial hair. These images are quite realistic, but are they novel? We can check this by looking at the source of the original patches. Different colors represent different original images. Moreover, the closest matching face in the database looks quite different. Here we compare our results to a recent paper that synthesized random face images and a commercial product that generates 3D textured head models. We can also replace regions of real faces as shown in these examples. In each case, the region indicated by the red box is replaced. Our method hypothesizes a global model based on the remaining observed image and then adds new patches over this region. We can use this trick to correct synthesized models. Here's an example of a synthesized image with a flaw on the cheek. Selecting this region causes our system to replace it. Just to be clear though, we have not done this on any other images in this presentation. We are not limited to a single choice though. Our system can generate several different images that are consistent, and then we can choose which one we like. We can also interact with images by making manual adjustments in any paint program and then synthesizing a new region that is consistent with our edits but looks more photorealistic. We can make more significant edits such as change of expression by learning a bilinear model relating the two conditions. Here we have taken these real images and made the people smile. First we extract the relevant region then fit the non-smiling model. From this, we predict a blurry smiling face, which we then texture over to add detail before replacing in the image. We hope you enjoyed this presentation.